Okay, my name's Dave. I'm a 58 year old from Adelaide, South Australia. And this year, we decided we want to go on a motorcycle tour. We normally go to Bali or go on a cruise. But because of COVID, we thought we'd do something different. And luckily in Australia, most of our states are open. There's been a big flare up in New South Wales, but uh, we're going to go through New South Wales, but we think we're going to go through Victoria. And then if things open up, we'll go up through New South Wales. So I thought I'd show you our setup and maybe can give you some ideas maybe you can give me some feedback on where i can improve we haven't done a big tour like this before and uh, we're riding two up and uh, like i said probably six seven thousand kilometers and uh, we'll see how we go i'll show you some of the things we've done first of all i've got this uh, denali pack now this is only six and a half kilos it's got my sleeping bags our sleeping bags a tent and a couple of extra mats or foam mats very light foam mats underneath okay what else have i done i've got this fantastic backrest for my seat it is so good i love that backrest it's so comfortable i've put on some uh some pegs some uh, pegs there to help me to be able to spread out and to uh, put my bring my legs out away from the, the hot engine so uh, they're really good inclusion they're genuine harley pegs that i put on quite recently but i love them highway pegs i believe they're called i've put on a quad lock there's my phone there's the quad lock and this is so secure um, you can take it off just by twisting and there it is there now i won't do it with one hand but you the phone i'll have my phone on me all the time i can use it for navigation i can use it to hook up it with the helmet system that we've now got uh, I've put on, I've taken the lower fairings off here now the lower fairings we found were just blocking out a bit of wind from our legs I know you can open them up, open the vents up on them but I found it better without the lower fairings but also, because it's an air-cooled engine I've also put on a oil cooler a genuine Harley oil cooler as you can see down here now that's not going to make much difference to the felt engine heat but it's going to give us peace of mind when it comes to the heat of the engine because we're traveling through Australian summer could be some very hot days uh, so we've decided to put the oil cooler on it cost about a grand fitted but uh, it's just that extra peace of mind uh, I've got a windshield I've got three different windshields this one's like a medium height windshield I prefer that because you still get some air over the top uh, I've got a larger one that I used in winter, which is nice, but blocked out way too much air and actually caused some buffering over Sarah, over the passenger. So that is our bike at the moment. Um, I'm going to take you inside in a minute and show you some of the gear that we're going to put in it. We'll be very pleased. We've been saving up and buying bits and pieces, more like hiking type camping gear. And... Uh, we're going to be riding this 2009 Ultra Classic. It's in mint condition. It's got low kilometres, or fairly low kilometres, and uh, we absolutely love it. It's very comfortable, and we're ready to go. Okay, I forgot to say that I've also changed the oils in the bike uh, to get it ready, and I got Harley to check a whole bunch of other things before we headed off. There we go. So here's the bag that was on the back of the bike, and inside that bag we had these two very light rolls of foam just to go under our sleeping pads they only weigh about 200 grams each they take up a bit of room but they're very light and they do fit into that bag we also had our tent this is a three-man tent it's called a maximus three only weighs about 3.2 kilos which uh, is fine for us and it's actually quite roomy and good quality so we're very pleased with that tent and we have two of these sleeping bags they weigh about a kilo each and they pack them very small they also went into that blue bag that was on the back of the bike. Here's a couple of uh, these two things here. So a couple of jackets. That's all we're really taking as far as warmth goes. We're taking our riding jackets, maybe a windshield, and then a couple of these jackets. But they're extremely small and pack away nicely in these bags. Probably not a great shot there, but you can see. We've bought these chairs. They're called Helinox chairs. Uh, I've actually we bought two of those and I've undone one or made one up over here. Helinox chairs, they only weigh about a kilo each. 
So they're going to be really useful when you're sitting around the tent having a glass of red. Uh, so the Helenops tent, uh, sorry, chairs are about 120 bucks each. They're quite expensive, but extremely light, and they pack away, like I said, just over the size of a drink bottle, really, or a large drink bottle. We bought two uh, towels. Uh, they're only 100 grams each. These towels were made by 360 degrees. Uh, they're, uh, as I said, very light. Uh, they, they, they've got a weird feel to them, not like a normal towel, but they, because they pack down so small, we thought we'd include those. Uh, here's our pillows, and I'm not sure if you can tell from this video, but this is my hand, and here's how small these pillows pack. I just uh, weighed a couple of things, but oh, that one fell down. Um, we blew one up, just so you can have a look at it. Uh, not massive, in fact, uh, I've used them before and I end up putting a windsheeter over the top of them just to make it, uh, give it a bit more height because I'm a fairly big bloke, big shoulders and uh, so yeah, it just needs a little bit more height but having said that, they, they pack away so tiny, they're about 100 grams these things, it's incredible how small they can get them. Um, here are our Cedar Summit sleeping pads. Uh, we're packing two of those away. I've made one up over here for you to have a look. So these are amazing, these sleeping pads. Uh, they're quite expensive. We paid about 250 bucks each for those. Uh, but they're incredibly light. Um, about 800 grams each. And they blow up into these sort of egg container type look about them. But they're so comfortable. Uh, but we're also putting these blue foam pads underneath just to stop any crunches and just to give that extra little bit of comfort but very 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 good these uh, Cedar Summit sleeping pads ultra light can't do better than that I've got a cooking set some of the stuff here is starting to fall down a cooking set that was only about 70 bucks from Anaconda that packs away all that really is for us to cook water heat up water for our coffees and perhaps cook an egg in the morning as you can see behind we've got some of our crockery and cutlery we're not taking much tiny little uh, egg pan uh, that we're taking cooks a couple of eggs in the morning for us in the morning an egg holder a couple of cups a couple of bowls and that's all we're going to take with us initially we may find that we need more as we go but at the moment that's going to be fine I hope. Uh, just a couple of other extra bags for our electronic stuff, um, our tablets being in our 50s, need more tablets these days, so uh, take a couple of extra bags there. Now what I did with my toolbox, my tool roll, is I bought a pencil case, and the pencil case was five bucks, and I've been around the bike and I've had a look at the different sizes of tools that we need and worked out what I needed and put them in this pencil case. And I won't go through all of them, but I've made sure I've got a torch and I've got a hammer there, of course, to put the pegs in. So I'm happy with that. And it's not real heavy either. And I don't have to take a whole lot of tools with us. And we're also getting something called Harley Assist, which is a roadside assistance thing from Harley. Now with our helmets, I've recently bought a intercom system. Uh, this is called an Interphone Connect, and it's fantastic. Super clear. You can hear each other really clearly. You can't pick up any of the wind noise on the helmets. And you can listen to radio. You can listen to uh, your music through your phone. It's Bluetooth. Uh, you can answer phone calls with it. And the phone calls are crystal clear. Uh, it's, it's really good. Really happy with it. It was about 500 bucks for the pair. And they're a really fantastic intercom. We've had intercoms before, but this one is by far the best. Uh, of course, I'm taking a tarp. I'll use that to either cover the bike or put under the tent, depending on the situation we, we find ourselves in. But overall, we're not taking a whole lot of stuff. We've done a couple of trial runs out uh, locally. And this gear all fits in, and it weighs just over 20 kilos altogether, so we're very happy with that. Uh, I know I haven't included clothes here, and we're not taking too many clothes. We're going to take some light 
clothing like uh, shorts, thongs, well they're called thongs in Australia, uh, flip flops I think they're called in other places, uh, that's all, uh, maybe a couple of t-shirts, few pairs of undies, um, and we can buy things on the road if we need it. So we're ready to roll, this is the biggest trip we've ever done, we're really looking forward to it, and I'll do another review of this gear when I get back and we'll let you know how it all went. I'm sure there'll be people with plenty of comments to make, um, things that you recommend, uh, even criticisms of the things that we've bought. But at the moment, for our first big trip, I'm pretty happy with what we've done. And we're looking forward to heading off in about two days. Bye.